you so much for tuning in and cook with April on Tasty Tuesday. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make like a super easy salad. It was inspired when we went to Paris yes, and we had lunch at this one place and they had this salad. It was called like a... It was called an Italian salad. Italian actually. salad. Yeah. Yeah, so oh gosh, this is kind so of... Good. Yeah, so this is kind of like my version of it. So I hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, let's make Justin's current favorite salad. So you're going to need some salad mix. I'm using fresh herb salad because this is what Justin likes. And the cool thing about this is it was on sale. And also it's triple washed and ready to use. So you don't even have to wash it. None of that. And then you just pretty much need two eggs, but I'm doing four because I'm making two salads, one for me and one for Justin. And then your favorite balsamic dressing. You guys, I was about to make some dressing and then I found out that we were out of balsamic <laughs> vinegar. So this is what we had in the fridge. So this works as well. But the one that I wanted to share with you guys was very easy. It's just balsamic vinegar olive oil and garlic mince and then you mix that together and that's your dressing it's really good and then you'll also need some fresh mozzarella cheese and then i still wanted to mince some garlic to add to the salad because i think it tastes really good that way and then i'm a garlic addict so instead of regular salt garlic salt and pepper to taste for the eggs and then prosciutto this is probably justin's favorite part so the first thing you're going to do is work on the eggs because the eggs take the longest. So you're going to boil these eggs because you want it to be medium or slightly runny. And you're going to boil this for exactly six minutes. I like to sprinkle a little bit of baking soda when I'm boiling eggs. Um, I learned this maybe two years ago when I started really getting into egg salad. And when you sprinkle baking soda, it just makes it easier for you to peel your eggs later. So let's go ahead and set the timer on to six minutes. So I'm going to just mince garlic. A funny story, you guys, this is like our old school garlic press. We have a new one, but I don't know. I like this one, but for some reason, Justin thinks the other one's better, but I guess I stay loyal to whatever I had first. So I am going to pour a quarter cup of dressing. You probably won't use all of this up, but it's good for me to save it for another day. And then I'm going to add the minced garlic. And like I mentioned, you can add however much garlic you want. And if you already found a balsamic dressing that has a lot of garlic, or if you're into garlic, just buy that at the store. I also like to add a little bit of pepper to that mix. So this is the easiest salad ever. You just go ahead and add your salad mix. Next you add your mozzarella. I'm going to make it cute and make it even and put four like that. Now the prosciutto, Justin's favorite part. I personally like to put prosciutto under. It's like a hidden surprise for him when I make the salad. <laughs> so that's what I like to do. So after six minutes, I went ahead and drained the boiling hot water and added cold water. And to expedite it, I added ice. The reason why I'm doing this is I want the eggs to be soft to medium boiled eggs and this will stop it from cooking. It's time to crack that egg and peel. Okay, so completely cracked. Let me try and show you guys like the shell or taking out the whole thing. Do you guys see that? It's because of the baking soda, look. It's so easy to peel. So I added the egg on top of the salad and the last steps is to add some salt and pepper to taste. I like garlic salts on mine. I'm all about that garlic life. A little bit of pepper and lastly got to add that dressing just drizzle it on top all right it's lunch time all right taste tester time oh my gosh this looks so good these eggs perfection honey i can Thanks. just tell by looking at them Thanks. i want to get like you know, a piece of each in the bite I'm ready for lunch. This is good. Mm. I'm 
like ready to eat lunch. I wasn't even watching you taste test. <laughs> That's a big old bite, boo. All of these flavors together. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. This tastes, honestly, on par or even better than the one I had. Thank you. I think you. I honestly really like the garlic that mm -hmm. you added to the dressing. Thanks. It gives it a really nice pop. And honestly, like I said, the eggs are perfect. Yes. You guys thank have, if you guys you. have never had a soft boiled egg, it's just. Well, this is like soft to medium. Soft to medium soft boiled, is, yeah. Is more runny. Maybe do it a minute or two less if yeah. you want it like actually a little more runny. But yeah. I like it with this. Like if you ever had ramen, they do like oh, soft boiled eggs. Oh yes. yes. But also, if you've never had prosciutto, I know some people like look at it and they're like, "Oh, it doesn't look cooked it or whatever." Looks but like ham. yeah, you could just eat it cold like this. It's absolutely delicious. If you ever had like um, you know, prosciutto wrapped asparagus or something mm, like that, that's yeah, like an appetizer. That looks good. But absolutely delicious. The the fresh mozzarella in here with the salt and pepper. This is like a very gourmet lunch. I feel oh, I feel okay. pretty. Well, it's just pretty an easy honored. lunch, you guys. No, I mean, and it was actually. It yeah. wasn't too many steps. Mm -hmm. It was pretty pretty awesome, especially yeah, with the. Triple washed lettuce that you didn't have to yeah, do anything with. Yeah, didn't have to do a thing. Just mm. toss it in there. Delish. Anyhow, thank you friends so much for watching. We are excited to have our yes, lunch. Yes, we are. We're hungry. And we hope you guys give it a try. And send me pictures on your Instagram or Twitter. I'm April Athena 7 on Instagram. If you guys want to like tag me somehow. Yeah, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.